Yeah, look at Sarah Morgan just creeping over my shoulder. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. My name is Easy Now, and this is my crib. So you can get apartments and houses in this game and there's building and decorating. And I want to show you a little bit of that and why it's important and the benefits you'll get from doing it. The first time you get an apartment will be hopefully in the UC if you decide to do all the stuff that's necessary. And if you haven't seen it yet, I've got a video on how to actually get to the point where you can buy your own apartment. Um, and yeah, so if this helps, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun YouTube stuff. And we're going to go look at all the decorating and all the extra things you can get and do and stuff like that. So if you run up here, this is where my house is. And as you can tell, it's a little bit quaint. This isn't mine. This is just a little thing. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I, I would close the door, but Sarah Morgan keeps opening it and she's frustrating me. You get your nice little balcony here. I could build like a little seat out here and have a look out over the um, the washing on the washing lines, I guess. And then we've got a little upstairs area where you can um, build a bed and some other things. So, you know, there is obviously going to be benefits to an apartment. I wouldn't spend all of my materials that I have right now on this little apartment. You know, I can sleep if I want to, which is very, very, like, cool. Like, that that's what I want. I want to be able to get that XP bonus and stuff. You can have decorations wherever you want. Decorations are cheaper, but they don't really do nothing. And, you know, they're just, they're just there as decorations, would you believe it? Then we got things like chairs where you can sit down and wait. A rug where you can put your feet on. I just put this up. <laughs> I just wasted my materials on this just to show you something else. We've got workbenches and research labs. And most importantly, we have storage. So you have weapon racks where you can store your weapons. And well, I mean, you can put weapons in here too as well, but these are on display. We have storage boxes. Storage boxes are super important. They have 150 mass. That's pretty much like an extra player. So if you can get multiple of these into your place, you can just keep storing things in here that are too heavy for you to carry around. Now, I have just basically thrown in all of my resources because most of the time I don't use them. I'll probably take a few things out in um, just after this video. But for the most part, a lot of the things you don't need that you need in like crafting and stuff. So if you craft all your benches here and put all your resources in these storage crates, you are going to be set for a while because while you're out in the open anyway, you collect so much of this stuff. It's unbelievable. So you'll just constantly be coming back here and putting them in your storage boxes. All the stuff that's on the ships as well, they can be put in here, like the things that you don't necessarily use all the time. It's just one hell of a benefit to have storage crates available to you in one of the main cities as well, because you're constantly going to be there. So let's talk about actual decorating and stuff like that. When you come through the door, you have a little box here, a little box, a little panel here called decorate. You go into it and you'll be immediately opened with the build box and they have different um things up here in the top right that you can go through different categories so we've got crafting furniture decorations displays and miscellaneous so crafting is your benches and stuff obviously um i haven't got all the materials i need for a cooking station or a pharmaceutical lab as you can see up there in the top left i haven't been able to find benzene and alkanes naturally i've got one alkane but i don't know how i got it so if you wanted to you can track this by pressing x and it will put little blue magnifying glasses next to the materials that you need for this bench. This will then remind you when you're going through the world to find and take these materials so that you can come back and um, build the things that you need to build. So at the moment in here, I've got the industrial workbench and the space, uh, the research lab, sorry. So I'm now going to build a weapons bench. One of the things that I very much dislike about this system is that it doesn't turn with you. It doesn't always orient itself to you. Now you can rotate, but the problem is, is when you rotate, you have to very, very lightly click the button to be able to get it kind of straight. And honestly, you will never get it straight. Oh, I just had it straight as well. That was, that was quite funny as I said that. But I have a little bit of a trick for you now. That it orients to wherever you're looking. So if you go into anywhere and you look straight ahead like this, um, I'm trying to get it next to the research table and then you select something else and come back to the weapon bench you will see that it changes its orientation now i can bring this down hopefully and it's not quite where i want it to be so let's do it again the weapons bench is big man this pole is in the way next to me right okay let's do this again up down 
Okay, that, that's as straight as I'm going to get it, probably. Or is it? Or is it? <laughs> this tip does work, I promise you, but you just got to get it absolutely perfect. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. That's the meat and potatoes that I like. Um, it's a little bit off the wall, but it's fine. It's fine for this little house. So now I have all of my benches and stuff that I need. And this also works with um the building of furniture as well so let's build a little piece of furniture um we will build a stool outside that's what we'll do so this one's a little bit easier than it is to build the um the benches and stuff here with the orientation you can just press right and left that's a lot easier to see because if i was to do this and bring it back you know it completely changes and it just makes it a little bit more hard to track on what you're doing. So if I wanted to do the bench, um, let's just say, for instance, I want to face it this way. What I have to do is right and left and the bench is changed to your orientation. So that's a little bit of a tip for you when coming to building your things. So whenever you're wherever you're looking, it will orient to where you're looking. And that's the best way for you. There's so many like decorations and stuff. It's 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 crazy. These are just the furnitures, and then we got decorations. You got your storage boxes, which is important. Uh, we have all the things that hang on the wall, which some of them cost a weird amount of things. Like this is a picture you get from uh, one of the quests. A little girl wants you to put these up everywhere, and then you get the chance to build it yourself. But it costs one structural, and structural and ornamental are difficult to come across, or at least I haven't found them on a regular. So it's, you don't be, you don't want to be wasting your materials on a poster when you could, when you need it for more important stuff. Um, and then we've got other things too, which we'll talk about now. So we've got displays, which is your weapons display like this to put on the wall. Not very expensive to make at all. Uh, we've got mannequins that you can build to put armor on. I don't have armors at the moment but i suppose we could throw one in this corner as well um like that and we'll throw something on um probably not enough uh, probably not worth wasting your materials to bother with a small apartment but it is fun and then we got miscellaneous the mission boards and self-service bounty clearance so these are also important and i'm actually going to build these um we're going to put one here by the fridge and the self-service bounty clearance i don't need right now because i haven't done anything illegal but when you when you've got a bounty you can come in and pay off your bounty here so that is the build mode in general um let me close my door sarah morgan won't close i'm, I'm intrigued because i didn't see this weapon right before i want to know what it looks like oh you can only put little ones on so if i wanted to put this on what happens oh that's cool I like that. <laughs> I wonder if there's um there's probably a bigger version of that weapon rack as well. Let me take that back before I forget. So let's put this on there. And we got a helmet to go there. Have we got a spare pack? No, we don't. Okay, but the pack doesn't matter. Unfortunately, for some reason, maybe it's a bug. It doesn't actually show these armors on the mannequin. I believe it's probably supposed to, or there's something that I'm missing to make it actually work. It's at least there's a place to store some armors anyway. Like if you've got armors specifically that you want to save and you don't want to get it lost in some storage crates, you can throw it on the mannequin, but I'm fairly sure that's supposed to display them. There's probably just a bug or something. So now let's look at the mission board, which I think is very useful because I can never find them in the city. Um, and you can just come here and pick up things that you need to do. I, I actually want to do one of these because I've, I've never done them. So I'm going to deliver um, these ultra batteries to Polvo. I don't have enough space on the ship, so I've got to go empty my ship out too. The one thing you can also do and be useful is that with the storage crates, you can take very easily, you can take everything off your um, off your person and then throw them into the into the crates like i don't have much on sarah morgan at the moment but when i'm out in the wild i throw everything on her that i can and then i can just very easily throw them into the storage crate because she's right there next to me she has a few weapons here that i didn't know she had so i'll have a look at them later and just a little bit tacked on to the end that i'd forgot to mention as you can see now i've thrown all my materials into my bins that i just don't need or want right now because i finished decorating so let's say i went in here and i needed some materials for let's say the navigation console if i track this it will track the beryllium iron and copper for me 
fairly simple, fairly easy. Now all I need to do is go into my boxes and look for anything that has a blue magnifying glass on them. So it's a very easy way for me to get through and find the materials that I need for the thing that I'm buying. It's a little bit more inconvenient than actually, you know, being able to just have them in your inventory. But if you needed to find them really quickly, and I think as well, if you track like more than one, you get you get to see them all like at the things that you're specifically searching for. So I've got the alkanes and I've got the structural pieces that you can see up there. Um, so there's there's easier ways for you to store and find things that you need. So we've got the beryllium as well. So I can actually make some of the things that I didn't think I could make because I forgot that they were already in my storage boxes. But that is a cool little way, um, a cool little tip to just kind of store your stuff and then be able to figure out where they are instead of going through like I thought I was going to do is put all the minerals in one, all the ship things in another, all the structural things in another and like try and figure it out that way with the storage boxes. But now I can just tag them and know exactly what i'm looking for and there you go that's about it that's building decorating and what you're going to need to do and look out for and tips about the mannequins and the storage boxes and you know searching for items that you specifically want i really do hope it helped if it did hit the like button leave me a comment down below tell me what you think of this uh, building process and and do you think it's worth spending money on a little one or, or should you just keep getting money until you get the big one and then decorate that I hope there's more unlocks as well for specific items because some of these look okay but if i want like a fancy apartment i want fancy items but yeah thank you for watching i've been easy now you guys have been awesome